What is it that keeps you awake at night? Uh, looking at the economic situation in the UK and Europe, we're based over in Luxembourg, as you know. Most people tend to be thinking, and there's surveys have been done and all this sort of thing, chambers of commerce. People's biggest concerns are around uh, costs rising, inflation, interest rates, economic uncertainty, uh, conflict, and all this sort of thing going on in the economy and in the environment. And, and rightly so. These things are real. They're impacting the business. I think the thing is, and I've been through, I've got enough grey hairs to have been through a few of these shifts in the economy where there's been either, you know, low growth or, or interest rates being high or inflation or unemployment, the whole thing uh, creaking along like that. Uh, luckily, at the moment, unemployment seems to be OK in most of the Western um, economies. And that's a thankful. Thankfully, that's OK. If that starts to creak. There'll be other, other issues coming through. But the trick is, of course, when you look at the economy and say, I, I'm worried about conflict i'm worried about interest rates or i'm worried about rising costs or importing products or exchange rates and all that sort of thing we can't do anything about it i'm concerned about exchange rates we trade in uh, you know several countries at the same time and i'm concerned about the dollar i'm concerned about us and euro to sterling and all this sort of thing i'm concerned about it but what can i do about it now we can look at how we transfer funds and hedge and all that sort of thing but actually i can't do anything about exchange rates i can't do anything about interest rates i can reduce my exposure to debt if from a company and personally that will even reduce the, the the maybe interest payments but interest rates themselves i can't do much about it and in my experience the thing i've learned in my long career is yes to mitigate these situations and all we can do with costs and all this sort of thing mitigate do some you know, maneuvering and everything like that but actually what we've got to focus on is adding best value to our customers and our clients making sure we retain our customers do a great job do a good service modify our service conditions make sure we're unique and really make sure that people like what we do they find value in trading with us and there they they stay and they gravitate towards us maybe from other providers who aren't doing such a good job so really whilst there's a lot of uncertainty out there in the market Look at what you're doing. Look at the added value, the, the differentiation, your USP, your whatever you want to call it. Look at your customer service standards. Look at the value you add and make sure that it's of the highest order. Because even if the economy starts to reduce, if we go into recession, and the Daily Mail will tell you immediately when we go into recession by you know 0.1%. You can't even taste that, I guarantee it, but it sends out shockwaves around. Even if the economy starts to shrink a little bit, what we've got to do is get a larger slice of a reducing pie. And we do that by being bigger, better, brighter, best value, more consistent service, and we keep working harder on our products and our delivery. So generally, don't worry about the external constraints on the business. We can't fix them anyway. What we can do and what we can fix, and not say we worry about it, we're concerned about, is our internal products, innovation, service, customer care, engagement. What's the experience of working with you? How do you, how do you manage it? How do you make it of the highest order? So even there's uncertainty out there, don't fret. It's been there for a long time. It's always uncertainty. It's always uncertainty out there. Um, that won't change. Manage what we can. Manage what's under our control and build the best customer service, added value service that you can build for your, for your customers and clients. So there we go. Quick update from uh, the continent for those colleagues, clients in, in the UK. Um, in the UK later this week, traveling over on Thursday. Couple of, I've got a conference, I've got something else to do as well, but all things going on. Let me know your thoughts. What are you concerned about? What are you doing to, to mitigate these things in your company, in your business as well? In the meantime, have a great week. More to come. See you soon. Bye for now.